Hi, my name's Lori Popow, and I just came back from a special event called Pisanki at the Gardens. Because these were live events, the audio and video aren't studio quality, but I know you will still enjoy them very much. I'm Jane Chevalier, and um, one of the, the first things that I learned when I, I learned uh, Pisanka was how to divide an egg, but I learned different from maybe the rest of you. And most of us at this point probably have a lathe, but maybe you don't have one that does the larger eggs, or you don't have one at all. Maybe you don't want the expense of buying a, a big lathe. When I travel, I don't take one. And when I go to play dates, I don't take one. But what I do take are my elastic bands. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what you're going to need is, and I'm going to do an ostrich egg. This works on any size egg. You just adjust the size of the elastic that you use. So I'm going to show you on, a, on an ostrich egg because maybe some of you don't have an ostrich lathe. And this might help you. Anyway, and you can see it better. So I'm going to use, on this egg, elastic that's one and a half inches, three quarter inches, and we can go down to a half and a quarter. So what I'm going to do, and you need a hot glue gun, or you can stitch them, you need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a tape measure. I like these. You can buy them at Walmart for a couple of bucks. I cut them off. I use the metric side because the smaller increments. I think you get a, a closer measure. And I'm like Lori. I'm not real good with math. So I let the tape measure tell me. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the widest, whichever widest elastic you want to start with. I'm going to put the egg like this and wrap it around like that. And I'm going to mark where the two meet, just like that. And I'm going to use a lot of pencil so you can see, okay? And then I'm going to cut this. Then I'm going to take my hot glue gun, and I'm going to overlap this about a quarter of an inch, or a half an inch. And that's going to give enough tension to hold it on the egg. Oh. Ah, you know where I'm going with this. Okay. So we put a little glue like that. Put a dab on the end so it doesn't fray. Now you don't have to do this with every... All, you know, a goose egg is not the same size as the next goose egg. So you don't have to make one for every size egg that you have. But if you make them small enough, it'll fit. So I do that with that one. Then I take the next size. Put that over there. And I do the same thing. So now like that. So I'm going to start with these two, and then, oh, oh, I might have enough. Then, if you want, you can do it this way. I have um, Ziploc baggies at home, marked goose, chicken, ostrich, other, and so. Um, I keep all of my different size, width size, elastic in a bag. Okay. This has got the little fold on it, so I'm going to put the glue right there. The 
joys of hot glue. <laughs> start with the largest one. Stick it right around the egg like this. Sort of eyeball. Okay. And I'm going to mark a place on the egg that's maybe center, maybe not. Doesn't matter. On both sides of my Elastic, kind of follow it this way. Make a mark there and there. Now I'm going to take my elastic or my tape measure, and where I made the mark, I'm going to measure from one edge of the elastic over to the other, and that's 18 and a half. And I'm doing this both ways to make sure that I have it centered, and that's 19. So I'm going to move it just a little bit. To make it straight. Then I'm going to go this way. And it's almost 21. And that's almost 21. Okay, now, got that on there, right? Now I'm going to take my pencil. because you can just spin them. crooked, you just take your fingernails and do this. <laughs> and it gets straight. Okay? So, you just kind of eyeball it that way. Now, isn't this so much easier than trying to figure out? Okay, then you go on both sides. You want it tight enough that when you do this with your pencil that the elastic doesn't move. So let's say that it's a little loose for the egg that you're working on. I didn't bring one, but you can take a straight pin and put it right through there and make it smaller. Okay? So you have this. Then, if you want, you can go this way and do Saturn. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you do the same principle this way. You can also go, for time's sake, I'm not going to make them all, but you, I'll show you how to do it. You can take another one and put it in here. See, that's going to move because it's not real tight. Like that. You can take a thinner one. You, you can just keep going. I think this is about, no, elastic does come a little bit thinner than this, but on an egg this size, it's, it's um, kind of awkward to work with. I'm going to pull that a little tighter. Oh, it's still moving. So you can just keep going until you have how many different lines on your egg that you want. And then I brought this one to show you. This one I did entirely using this method. 
And what I did for the cross pieces is I measured from the top down and the bottom up, and then I took um, my scrap pieces, a scrap piece, I'll use this, it's the wrong size, and then I put a straight pin in the center, mark the center here, and I put it there, and positioned it, and drew the lines on either side. And then did the same with the smaller, the more narrow uh, pieces of elastic. So, you know, you can get really creative and use these. And another thing that I discovered, we all get this stuff in the mail, right? Mm -hmm. Well, don't, don't throw them away. You have a paper cutter, or borrow somebody's. Cut them into different, um, different widths. And these are really good for drawing straight lines. <laughs> if you wanted to just maybe even up a line because they bend, and you can use these for, say if you wanted to just do a line from A to B, you just hold it like that and make a nice straight line. And they're wonderful for that. So this is, you can call it a pocket lathe or an elastic lathe, whatever you want. But you can go, again, this way and get a division like I did here. And go around the circumference and get a Saturn if you want. It doesn't do everything the lathe does, but it certainly helps. This kind of elastic, you notice the, the ridges in it? You can use those as markers for measurement. <laughs> You're going, why didn't I know this? <laughs> Cecilia, you taught me with rubber bands from asparagus. She had, she had in the description to bring rubber bands, mm -hmm. not the kind, she says it has to be from like broccoli or asparagus, and, and that's how I learned to divide an egg, was with rubber bands. Right. So, there's my lathe. <laughs> Very nice. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos. Visit my website at lauripopal.com. Hugs!